Hi everybody, editor Chris Sanner here, and we're going to do one of my favorite things in Out of the Park Baseball and create a historical league. Out of the Park Baseball is seriously one of my favorite games. Uh, it's one of my favorite series in sports gaming. I've always been fascinated with the business of baseball and the back end of it, also the history of baseball, and so all of that kind of combines when we get into Out of the Park Baseball. So what we're doing here is we're importing everything. This takes a little bit. It actually takes well over a minute, so bear with me. I'm going to skip ahead. Now the process for setting up a league in Out of the Park Baseball, and especially a historical league, sometimes that takes a little bit of time to import all of the data you're going to need. You're importing a massive amount of data, so just be forewarned, it may take a minute or two, depending on your machine, to get to this point. Now we're talking about player development. You know, we're going to set up this entire league. Uh, we're going to do something interesting with this historical league. I want to run an experiment. We're going to start in the mid-1920s. And we're actually going to uh, set everything up as if it were 2016. Out of the Park Baseball allows you to kind of set up the game, uh, the simulation engine to fit different eras of baseball. And what I want to do with this particular experiment, we're going to apply modern day settings to the 1920s. Well, the mid 1920s had guys like Babe Ruth playing the game still, 16 teams. So we're gonna go through and we're going to set everything up. You can see, I'm going through a couple of the options here. You can set up your rating scale. You can have one to five, two to 20 to 80. You can have one to 10. You can have all sorts of stuff. And I'm just setting all of this up. It's a fun time. Uh, you go into advanced settings here and uh, to set up all the rest of the stuff. But we'll play with some of these. Uh, we'll play with some of these settings. We'll set up uh, the game name, etc. And as you can see there on the right, 16 teams. That's how many teams you had in the mid-20s in the major leagues. So not many teams, actually. So it kind of I like the clean approach to the old era. So let's actually go through some of the settings. You can see them here. We're going to go through them slowly. And as you can see, I'm going to enable the DH in the American League. I think, uh, you know, we're trying to match this to 2016. So we need to do that. And as we go through here, there's not much more to fix and set up but we'll, we'll keep going through this just so you can see some of the options you have when setting up a league period this isn't just a historical league you can set up a modern day league and change up all the stats and settings to match an old older version you can do like shorter seasons any number of things schedule settings we're going to make this make sure this is 162 they did play 154 back in the day made a little bit of sense for a while with the smaller league and then it expanded enough that teams wanted to play a little bit more so eight more games so we're gonna make sure that go through here check a few more options through that would just about do us but we'll go through a few more here uh and generally when it comes to setting up a historical league de attention to detail there are just so 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 many options in out of the park baseball it's ridiculous. That's why this game is one of my favorites because if you love baseball and you like playing around in a statistical playground like we're about to do, this is what happens. So let's let's keep this going. Uh, as we're going through here, you can see there are different options for, uh, here's the historical options. We can change all sorts of historical settings, things that may, we might want. One of the cool things you can do this year is you can actually end the color barrier sooner than it did in 1947 so you can have guys like satchel page pitching in the major leagues in the prime of their careers and you can see how their careers might have been different that's just to me that is just a really really cool option and here stats and ai i am setting uh this up to be 2016. we're going to have our stats reflected our league total so this is basically the out of the park simulation engine saying hey look uh, we're going to generate stats as if this is 2016. We're going to have teams uh, play as if it's 2016. Because teams, you know, baseball, the philosophy behind it has changed quite a bit in terms of how bullpens are managed, etc. Since the 1920s, the game has changed. So we're going to have the team from the 1920s playing baseball as if it is 2016. And as we do that, we're going to see just what kind of results we get. We're also going to have the 162 game schedule. It's just some pretty cool stuff. I'm just 
wanting to just show off some of the things that are possible with out of the park baseball, especially for people who are the statistical nerds that I am and like experimenting and seeing what happens if and all that. So it's just a really cool thing. We're gonna skip ahead again to uh, the start of the simulation. Welcome to the flip side of spring training. We're going to start our simulation here shortly. Let's get this going. 162 games, 16 teams. Who emerges the victor? Let's start. Uh, let's just start. It's going to be fun. Simulate to the regular season ends. And the thing you'll notice about out of the park, especially when you are not controlling a team and when you want to go through multiple seasons really rather quickly, you can get through multiple seasons really rather quickly. It is amazing how uh, that is possible in this year's game and in any of the out of park games because the simulation engine's just really, really fast. And as you can see, we are just zooming through. You can see the stats accumulating on the left and right side so you can go through and see how they change throughout the year. But the other thing, you know, we're seeing Detroit set up the top. St. Louis is tending to run away with it over there in the National League. So we're seeing all of that take place as this goes in real time. We're just seeing the stats accumulate. We're seeing the games played. When you actually are in-depth managing a team, it does not go this fast because you're adjusting lineups, you're adjusting pitching rotations, managing your roster, resigning, looking for free agents, etc. But we're just doing a statistical simulation. This is one of the many things you can do with out of the park. You just let it run and you look at the aftermath. You create chaos and see the aftermath. One of the things I would like to do maybe in a future video is to, I guess the best way to put it is make all the ballparks modern day ballparks because a lot of the old ballparks were really big really spacious so home runs were harder to come by just because of the distance from home plate i know some center fields were over you know 420 430 people used to rag on comerica in detroit or at least what used to be known as comerica because uh it was just so spacious and it was such a hitter's park well that's how all ballparks used to be st louis also by the way your world champions of 19 25 amazing they did it so anyways let's go and look at the statistics and we're just going to look through some of them i'm going to present them largely without comment because i don't want to uh you know i'm not going to really critique them it's only one simulation and when you're dealing with something like this it's just not the same so let's skip forward and see the aftermath here Okay, let's jump over to the stats and see what we have. And here are batting stats for the entire major leagues. Uh, you know, you can see a lot of stuff. Let's take a look at Mr. Hornsby here, who had a 413 average. He, he was by far and away the best hitter. Just wanted to look. You can see his ratings too uh, on the 20 to 80 scale. Now, let's just look through some of these. You can see several. Uh, different statistics that may pique your interest, things you may uh, want to look at. Uh, honestly, the thing that surprises me about these uh, applying modern day settings to the old game is how few, how little power was there. You know, you have Hornsby there at 39 home runs, but that, that's the league leader. No one else had over 40. So uh, th it's really interesting considering most people consider the modern day to be a lot more, there'll be a lot more power, hitting power and such. So just very interesting in that regard. Also, you saw Babe Ruth, who was, saw his seasons cut short. Only 101 games played, had a broken kneecap. That's not good. So pitching leaders, again, I mean, it's just interesting with uh, teams taking advantage of the modern day uh, pitching rotations, how they style those up not seeing much of a difference versus historical trends you can actually go through and look at some of these guys and look at their statistics for the year prior and then this year and you're not seeing a huge difference in fact some of these guys are having standout years under this uh system versus where they were before regardless i just wanted to show this off i wanted to show one of the things out of a million that are possible when using out of the park baseball so seriously give this a try if you do not have this game if you're a baseball fan who loves stats who loves the history of the game give this a shot this is totally something that's right up your alley uh we've highly recommended this several times on os already i'm going to do it one more time get out of the park baseball if you love baseball stats you can do some really cool things with it